Hey funky friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the last day of our walk through November days of um thankfulness. There we go. My brain hurts. Um today is the 30th of November and we've worked our way through the whole month. Um I've given you my views of what um I'm thankful for and hopefully you guys have given it a thought uh, every day to think about what you're thankful for, whether you post it or not. I don't care, just so long as you give it a little thought about what today meant to you and what you're picking up um, just through the whole 30 days of November. Today is the last day, and today I am thankful for kindness. Um, oddly enough, I am recording this on World Kindness Day, and it's kind of weird that now this is at the end of the year, uh, uh, end of the month, but just um, one thing I have always aspired to be is kind. Um, even in my darkest period when I was depressed and not feeling well about myself, um, I wanted to be kind to the people around me. And that was, I mean, to my own fault, actually. I would put things, my own things aside, which put me deeper in uh, a state because I was trying to make better for everyone else around me. I still do that. It's just who I am. Um, I have not found myself falling into a depressed or into as depressed a state. Um, I still give of myself way too much, but it's because that's who I am. Um, and I think that goes with my hippie aesthetic. The thing that I'm trying to put off on the show here or on the channel here is um, just to be kind to one another. And I've said it a hundred times, if I said it once. Um, hold the door open for somebody. Just smile. Give them um, a moment of your time. I think that's the most, I think I remember hearing on the radio this morning that the thing that um, people, most people just want to, want to know is that you acknowledge them. Um, whether you give them anything or not, they just want you to, to acknowledge them. So I have a habit of just being nice to as many people as I can. Um, and I do like, um, I do like having a little fun at my own expense to leave a guest leaving happy. And I think that is the biggest thing is, is I just love to make people laugh. Um, it makes me feel good to know that even if I do something stupid, a bonehead thing, I'll make a joke about it. And then I, it doesn't bother me quite as much. Um, I just like the idea that people are uh, leaving my store happy and maybe I played a part in it. Um, we've had discussions like this before, or, uh, many times before, and I think the whole thing is kindness um, is a big part of our, a lot of things that we, we lack. And I'm glad that this month we put a day aside, the 13th of November, um, we put it aside for kindness and that maybe we can spread something. We live in a world that is, is hateful and we do mean things to each other just because, well, we want it up ourselves. And it's sad because people deserve better than what we're giving in that respect. But I think um, with what I'm trying to do here on the channel, is spread love and kindness, you know, hippie vibe, all that. And I'm hoping that maybe we picked up a little something here this month. Um, maybe the remainder part of the year, which makes really big sense. Um, we can be kind to each other, love one another. Um, put together a bag that if you meet somebody who's on the street, you can give them a toothbrush, toothpaste, socks a little bit of cash, something, whatever you can afford, or even just buy them a meal from McDonald's or um, whatever you can do. Give them a McDonald's gift card, something, so that you can be a kind person, be a kind-er person. Um, step out of your comfort zone to do what is right for someone else. Um, I feel bad because I think we've raised generations of people who are um, so self-centered and so in, empowered, not empowered, um, entitled. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so entitled that 
they don't understand giving to somebody else. And I think we as parents need to um, show them how to do that and to give to another person of yourself more than anything. We need to be able to give to somebody. And it's hard. I mean, as parents, we give to our kids and then our kids feel entitled to it. So then they expect it and they don't understand through the fact that we gave it to them. They don't understand that um, there's a certain kindness involved in our doing that because they think, well, we're parents, we're supposed to do that. I mean, I have that issue um, where my kids believe that, well, because I'm a mom, I'm supposed to do it. And it's like, no, it's not. I do this because I love you and I want to give something to you because I'm being kind to you. And I want you to realize that and maybe, maybe be willing to give back to somebody else. Um, I think I raised pretty good kids, I re pretty good people. And I'm, I'm really proud of who they are and, and where they are. Um, sometimes they don't always understand that I'm not doing things because I'm your mom. I'm doing this because I'm just being kind. Um, you're my kids and I love you and I, I want you happy. Um, and it matters to me that you're happy. Guys, keep that in mind. It matters. But I think um, some kids nowadays just feel entitled to whatever we've given them. And they don't understand that there's a certain give and take that we are morally obligated to do. Um, volunteer time. Give of your time th this Thanksgiving um, now that Thanksgiving is done, of course, you can't, but the Christmas is coming. So find somewhere that you can volunteer to help hand out food, help hand out presents. Um, the Salvation Army does a lot uh, for present giving, um, Toys for Tots. Do what you can. Do what you're able financially, what you're able physically. Do what you can just to throw yourself out there because we are here to help one another. I've said it a hundred times, a thousand times on this channel. And I say it in my life in, re in general, we are here to help one another. And that is what we're obligated, um, morally obligated, I think, to do is to be here and be loving to each other. So now that I've stepped off from this soapbox, I'm just really thankful for today for kindness that I have the ability to give and I give back. I certainly don't miss or I certainly don't uh, uh, lack having people treat me with kindness but I'm glad I can give it because it makes me feel good. It's as good for me as it is for them. So what are you thankful for on this 30th of November? Drop it, drop me a link or drop me a line in uh, uh, the com co comment sent section. Uh, why I'm stuttering, I don't know. Um, just let me know, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to see what's going on in your month. Christmas is in three weeks. I've got a head start on mine, which is amazing, but because I've actually purchased presents for people that I um, usually buy for last, so that is confusing. Um, let me know what you got going on, what's, what you uh, have in mind. If you have a gaff, a gaff, uh, somebody you're going to purchase for and you need suggestions, I can always help, but you know what, Christmas is coming and we need to love one another. We need to do for one another. And if that's all we can give for Christmas, that's all we can give. Those little coupons saying, you know, free for one, whatever. If that's all you can give, that's all you can give. But give it. Think about your fellow man. All right. Bye, guys. Um, happy November. It's going to be gone. Tomorrow is December 1st. And I wonder what we're doing then. Um, like I said, after today, you're not going to be getting daily videos. It'll be back to my regular-ish schedule because I really don't have a regular schedule. It's just whenever YouTube and I decide to do something. So we will see you guys. Thank you for stopping in. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. November 30th. What are you thankful for? I want to hear it. Bye, guys. Yeah, I'm on the back, back.